Alright, I got an interesting uh, video for you today. This one's definitely going to get uh, demonetized or taken down or whatever because I'm playing some YouTube music right now. But uh, I don't own the rights to any of the music in here. Hopefully that's clear um, for anybody reviewing this. And I'll put that in the description too. But I want to show off this project that we're doing and this is pretty cool. And it's neat to see it playing in action even if it's coming through a YouTube video. So I hope you can hear me in the first place. But uh, what we've got here is a passive radiator subwoofer box. This is built by uh, one of the founders of the Makerspace, and he designed it. Um, essentially, what you're seeing right there is a non-powered uh, subwoofer. So you call it a passive radiator. It doesn't have a magnet on the back. There's no wires going to it. There's another one right there. What's actually powering this box is... is that right there so there is this is a 10 inch passive radiator so 10 inches across the one active subwoofer in here is an 8 inch um, and what's end up happening this is a sealed box and it actually needs to be a little bit smaller we figured out that this was a bit too much air volume after testing with it um, and we can make a couple changes to the passive radiators to get this even better and to perform even better so right now we're kind of scratching the surface of the potential of this because we've made bigger ones that work a lot better um, and what we're going to do is improve on this some more, so I'll tell you about that. Um, inside here, there's actually quite a few 3D prints. So what we did here is this is bolted in instead of screwed in, and we can see we mounted it on the inside. There's actually a 3D printed ring on the inside here as, as a uh, gasket. Uh, same with the radiator on bottom. And then this is our speaker box here. So this isn't uh, the permanent, this is just testing right now. So the plan is for the maker space, we're gonna do four of these up in the corner. So this will be front facing, the six by nine will be rear facing, shooting into the corner. Um, and you feel the bass and the airflow coming through right, right through those ports there. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have one, two, three, four. So that'll be eight speakers. And then we're gonna have the, uh, we initially were gonna do two of these boxes, but we're actually gonna do one box. So it'll be two eight inch uh, powered radiators, powered radiators, powered uh, subwoofers, and then four passive radiators. So four of these 10 inch ones, we're gonna put it in one box. So it'll be a little bit smaller, a little bit longer, and then one box, and we're gonna mount that bitch right there so right in the me right in the middle so that should be really really cool and I'm super excited to hear this when it's done because th there's no way that that me walking around in this video and, and you listening to it you can feel what this bass sounds like so what makes this really important in the passive radio system is it gets below 32 Hertz so most subwoofers out there are not designed to get below 32 Hertz this does this can get down to two um, so you get a deeper crisper cleaner base and by having it sealed you can actually push more power through the subwoofer because that power is then uh, uh, what was it the air the enclosed box the airflow it's pushing up against the subwoofer so it's not maxing out with being able to flow that much air so with this you can push more power through the sub that you end up uh, putting uh, putting into this but um, this is pretty neat because the guy that builds these builds commercial subwoofers he builds uh, subwoofer enclosures that is um, so he's building these massive ones to shake arenas um, so this is gonna be kind of like your overkill best of the best like home stereo we're gonna build that for here and then we're gonna we've got a couple more that like could go in a club and whatnot um, but yeah we're also gonna make uh, some floor standing ones one of the changes we're gonna make to this is we're gonna add three hook spots to it uh, one two three and then it's kind of messy on the front because we made this hollow and then we figured out it wasn't gonna sound right so we filled it full of foam not really still the best solution but uh, what we're gonna do is put uh, what was it? We're gonna do a different infill. I'm gonna do a triangle infill. Uh, Bill's kind of concerned with the time on it because it's taking like two days to print. Um, well, that does kind of suck, but I think it's just gonna have to be what it is for these. You know, our cost, if you're no 3D printing, that's not a lot of filament. Um, you know, if I was selling that part, that'd have to be a couple hundred dollar part. Um, but anyways, this is pretty neat. I just wanted to kind of show it off for a little bit. So hopefully you like the video. Hopefully this uh, at least makes it through a little bit. So thanks guys, later.